Hello, thanks so much for joining me today for this awesome story time. This book that we're going to be reading is called Vivi Loves Science by Kimberly During and Shelley R. Joans and awesome illustrations by Joelle Murray. Now, other than the title, obviously this book is about science, but what else do you think it's about? If you look at the cover, I see a cat, I see some sand, and I see some water. So maybe we'll be learning about the ocean. What do you think? I think I think we might be learning about the ocean. I mean, we won't know until we read the book, right? What else do we see on the cover? Oh, I see lots of kids with really cool glasses. And I think in the middle, I think that might be Vivi. Yeah, I think that might be our main character. What do you think? Now, when I see Vivi, I think, wow, she has awesome hair. Her hairstyle kind of reminds me of my hairstyle, right? It's super cool and super cute. I think so. Um, do you wear your hair like that? If you do, maybe you could dress up just like Vivi one day. Who knows? All right. Now, let's get into the story. It's going to be so much fun, and I can't wait to share Vivi's adventure with you. Vivi loved science. She loved learning about nature and planet Earth. She especially loved the ocean and everything that lives in it. Wow, Vivi really must love the ocean. Her whole room is decorated with lots of really cool sea animals and Oh my goodness, let's see. I see some dolphins. I see, oh, I think I see a crab up there in the corner. Uh, I see that whale that we saw before. And I think that's an octopus stuffed animal on the floor. Let's see what else we can find. That's why Vivi was excited. Today, her science class was going to the beach. Vivi sat next to her lab partner, Grammy, on the bus. She made a list of things she wanted to investigate when she got there. I hope we see dolphins, she said. Did you know that some dolphins can stay underwater for up to 15 minutes? Wow, said Grammy. I wish I could do that. Uh, let's take a good look at that beach wish list that they have. Find seashells, go crab hunting, look for eel caves, and spot dolphins. So we are going to keep track of this list and... Let's see if Vivi is able to do everything that she wanted to do. I think the first one should be pretty easy, finding seashells. Have you ever found any seashells before? I found some before. They're really fun to collect. Some people even use them to make necklaces. I think that's really cool. Let's go to the next page. When they arrived at the shore, their science teacher, Miss Gusto, said, Today, we're going to study tide pools. We might spot starfish, crabs, or even a jellyfish. Vivi raised her hand. Did you know that jellyfish have lived on Earth longer than dinosaurs and sharks? Wow, I didn't know that. Vivi knows a lot. That's true, said Miss Cousteau. Jellyfish have been around for at least 500 million years. Scientists think they are the oldest animals on our planet. That's a really long time. Sharks have only been here for about 400 million years, said Vivi. Are sharks fish? That's a good question. Are sharks fish? Let's find out. Asked Grammy. Yes. And Miss Cousteau said, sharks are fish because they breathe underwater. Did you know that the biggest shark is called a whale shark, said Vivi? Whale sharks can be 40 feet long. What's the smallest shark? asked Mia. The dwarf lantern shark, said Vivi. They are six inches long and their bellies light up. Right, said Miss Cousteau. You'll be a great marine biologist one day, Vivi. Now let's make aquascopes so we can all see underwater, said Miss Cousteau. Everyone raced over to the picnic tables where a park ranger was setting out supplies. Grammy decorated his aquascope with duct tape. Vivi glued some seashells around the edge of hers. This looks fantastic, she said. Oh, okay. So Vivi does have some seashells, but I don't know. Maybe she wants to find more later on. 
So if you look closely at the picture, it gives you a lot of instructions on how you can make your own aquascope, just like Vivi. So if you ever are bored and you want to try something new, you should definitely try this out. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. Ranger early led them through the dunes to the beach. Vivi and her friends were careful to stay on the path away from the nesting birds and delicate grasses. Does anyone know how a tide pool is created? Ranger early asked. Vivi raised her hand. When the tide comes in, water collects in the pools that plants and animals can live in. When the tide goes out, the pools are still there. You got it, said Ranger early. The tide is low now, so we should have lots of tide pools to investigate. Ooh, I wonder what they're going to find. Let's find out now. Everyone work with your lab par partner, said Miss Cousteau, and be sure to record what you find on your scavenger hunt worksheet. Let's look for a big pool, said Vivi to Grammy. They raced towards the rocks. There's one, Grammy pointed to a large pool of water. You go first and I'll record the data. Vivi peered into the water with her aquascope. Wow, she said, I think I see an anemone. Grammy checked off see an enemy on the list. Vivi called out each animal she spotted. Snails, baby clams, barnacles, four hermit crabs, a minnow. Do you see any plants, Grammy asked. There's some seaweed and algae, Vivi said. Do you want to look? Grammy put his aquascope into the water. Mussels, a starfish, a sea urchin. There are tons of shells too. Oh, shells! That's exactly what Vivi was looking for. Vivi spotted a big seashell near the tide pool. She picked it up and held it to her ear. This sounds just like the ocean, she said, but it's really just air traveling through the shell. Grammy listened too. Sounds like waves to me, he said. I wonder who lived in this shell, said Vivi. Maybe a giant crab, said Grammy. Let's put it back, said Vivi, so someone will move in again. Who do you think used to live in that shell? I think it was probably a giant crab, like Vivi said, because that is a really big shell. Vivi pointed at a flat rock closer to the water's edge. Let's see if anything lives under there, she said. It's an excellent hiding place, said Grammy. Maybe we'll spot an eel. Together, Vivi and Grammy turned over the rock. What's that, said Grammy? It looks like a toad. Look, over there. We found a huge fish, Vivi yelled. The entire class raced over to see what Vivi and Grammy had discovered in the tide pool. We need to get that fish back into the ocean, said Mia. It's running out of water. Wait, I don't think we should touch it, Vivi said. You're right, Vivi, Miss Cousteau said. Let's ask the ranger. She'll know what to do. That is a plain fitting midshipman. That's a lot of words. Ranger Early said, This fish buries itself in wet sand and mud when protecting its nest. Grammy pointed to the little orange circle stuck at the bottom of the rock. What's that stuff? Those must be her eggs, said Vivi. Actually, those are his eggs, Ranger Early explained. His? Mia asked. Yes, the dad stays with the nest until the eggs hatch, said Ranger Early. How long does that take? Vivi asked. The dad protects and cleans the eggs for weeks and weeks, said Ranger Early. Sometimes there are hundreds of eggs. I'm glad we didn't move him, said Mia. You were right not to move him, said Ranger Early. Whenever we're in nature, it's important to look at animals and not touch. Plus, this is his home, and we're just visitors, Vivi said. Ranger Early led the class along the water's edge. They spotted something lying on the sand. What's that? asked Mia. Be careful, that's a jellyfish, Ranger Early said. Do they bite? Grammy asked. No, jellyfish don't have teeth, Vivi said. Right, most jellyfish have tentacles like this one, Ranger Early said. They can still sing, sting when they're out of water. Before you leave, you can each pick one shell to take home, 
Ranger Early said. Just make sure it's empty. Vivi and Grammy hunted for the perfect shells. Oh, awesome! She found some more shells. She can definitely check that off her list now. Grammy found a white scallop shell, but Vivi kept searching until she found something unexpected. A shark tooth, she said. Good eyes, Ranger Early said. Inspecting Vivi's treasure, is that tooth four million years old? asked Grammy. Probably not, said Ranger Early, but it could be a hundred years old. As the class headed back to the bus, Vivi and Grammy took one last look at the ocean. I think I see a shark, Grammy shouted. Just then, something big jumped out of the water. It's a dolphin, said Vivi. No, it's a whole dolphin family. Vivi smiled. She loved field trips and the ocean, and she loved science best of all. Well, that's the end of our story. Thank you so much for helping me look for crabs and eels and helping us find seashells and even finding dolphins. I think Vivi completed everything on her list and we got to help her out and that's super cool. I hope you enjoyed this adventure as much as I did and make sure you check out the rest of Vivi's stories. Thanks again. Bye.